Many people ask me, well, how to play jazz chords on the ukulele? And so I thought I'd show you some jazz chords on the ukulele, whatever you think jazz chords might be. To my opinion, there are two ways to learn jazz chords. The first is by inversions. Well, that means that you take the notes from a chord and arrange them in different ways on the fretboard and rearrange them. So you got different different voicings for one and the same chord all over the fretboard. A more practical, more useful way is to learn uh, voicings by progressions. And so I think it's a good idea to show you one of the most common chord progressions in jazz, which is the 2-5-1 progression. 2 five, one that means you take the major scale, in our case it will be the C major scale, and then you take the chords from the second, the fifth, and the first position of this scale, which is the D, the G, and the C major. All right. For jazz chords, we always add a seven, and we we'll try to use closed voicings. That's, that means that you are not using open strings. The D minor seven chord is one of the easiest chords you'll find. It's it's just like this. Even if you're not used to barry chords, well, give it a chance. Just your index finger on the fifth fret. That's it. D minor seven. Then we got that G7 chord, which is closed 4, 5, 3, 5. 4, 5, 3, 5. And at least there's the C major chord, which is 4, 4, 3, 3. Well, you can also play it 5, 4, 3, 2, if you like that more. Let's go! So now we can start giving it a little more spice. For example, you, you maybe don't want to use the G7 chord, you maybe want to use a G9 chord, which goes like this, 4, 5, 5, 5, 4, 5, 5, 5. Well, you can of course use four fingers to, but maybe give it this double barry chance it looks cool to spice the progression up in the end to give it a little more punch we we add a C augmented 7 chord or C plus 7 or maybe you you know C 7 sharp 5 it goes like this 3 4 4 3 3 4 4 3 I use the middle finger for both C and E string. All right, C, D minor seven, G nine, C major seven, and G uh, C augmented seven. One, two, three, four.
close chord shapes is very, very useful because you just move these shapes along the fretboard and change the key we're in. For example, take the, the D minor 7 chord, move it two frets up. It's E minor 7. We can use the same shapes for A9 or A7 and D major 7. Or if we move it two frets down, we are have C minor 7, F9, and now are in the key of B flat major. So we can can combine all these three together for Yay! If you like that tutorial, please give me a thumbs up or a double thumbs up. Um, and it's my first tutorial in English, so if you have any questions or wishes or, or ideas for other tutorials, please feel free to leave that in the comments. I'm looking, to fo I'm looking forward to, to read what you think. See you, Vices!